I just think you're lazy. <laughs> and number two, you're so used to being a reporter that you don't really know how to be a human being. It's <laughs> okay. So he was basically trying to challenge me to leave the, the sidelines as a reporter and really kind of throw myself in and and buy the book about what it is to be Mexican, what it is to be American, what it is to belong to, to, to homelands. And I have to tell you, I think one of the reasons I'm so emotional tonight is that here in front of you, I feel like I see the best of my homeland and I see the best of my adopted homeland. And I think it's when in that togetherness, in that in that fusion, in that moment that we find the beauty of who we are. I certainly found the beauty of who I am as a Mexican American. And, and this is this is my own testimony of what it's been like to cover not just the last six years of Mexico, but really the last fifty years. Uh, of, of the United States and Mexico. So Angela is giving me the stare, which means I need to read. <laughs> <laughs> and if you uh, if you have read the book, you know that Angela always gets what she wants. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is uh, pretty much what I wrote that afternoon at Pedro El Paso. I like to find to them and. I actually fought Penguin when we were doing the editing. I said, this has to kind of stay the way it is because uh, it, it was such an important moment for me. Uh, and see, so yeah, we're going to find a way to manage this. Here we go. And uh, one last question now. Uh, who doesn't speak or understand English? <laughs> OK, fine. This is part one. And this is my response to the Academy of Data Science. When summer rains fall on Mexico, all is forgiven. The raindrops claim the metropolitan Mexico City sky, sweeping away the smog that attracts 20 million people and is suffocated in grace, bringing everything into sharp focus over the southern edge of the city. Two Hulkin volcanoes stand guard. According to legend, they are a smoking mountain lying next to his lover, woman in white. Washing away the smog, the rain reveals them on rare occasions. The same way swept the desert side of my grandmother decades ago. <laughs> <laughs>